When creating a new switch configuration, you should always start by removing the previous setups. So there are two files that you need to make sure you erase from the switch. The first file is the startup config file, and that is saved in the NVRAM. The second file is the one that stores all of the information for the VLANs. That's the VLAN database file called VLAN.dat, and that file is stored in Flash. I am now going to demonstrate the commands used to completely wipe both the VLANs and the startup configurations from a Cisco switch. I'm going to go ahead and click on the West switch, expand the window, hit enter. The password is console0, ENA for enable, secret1. I'm going to go ahead and issue the command erase startup config. Erasing the NVRAM file system removes the configuration file. We go ahead and hit enter to confirm that. We see that that command is complete. The other thing we need to do is to delete the flash, and what file in flash? VLAN.dat. We go ahead and hit enter. It confirms or asks if that's the file we want to delete. We go ahead and hit enter to confirm. One more time, and if I do a show flash, you can see that that file is gone, as is the config file. If I do a show start, you also see that the startup configuration file is not present. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and issue a reload. It asks me if I'm sure I want to do that. Of course I do. That's the whole point. The image file is decompressing. You can see it's loading from flash. And now you can see that the switch is back to its default name of switch. If I do an enable and then I do a show run, you can see that everything is gone and the switch is ready for initial configuration.